Disneyland is not the happiest place on earth, even though I'm having an amazing time here. The happiest place on earth is wherever you are in the moment, wherever you decide to be the happiest moment. That sounds kind of cheesy, doesn't it? Well, it sounds kind of cheesy because it's true. I was looking at someone else's Snapchat the other day and he was, or someone's Snapchat, because they're on Facebook here at the moment, and he was recording a picture of a flower bed, some flowers, just going, look at the beauty in these flowers. And he was right. How many times do you stop and just go, Look at the beauty in those flowers. Look at the beauty in the wind. Look at the beauty in the world. And so even though I'm here, high above Disneyland, and it is the happiest place on earth, <laughs> that's what the slogan says anyway, the happiest place on earth is when you wake up in the morning and you're grateful for the fact that you're sleeping in a bed. And for you're grateful for the fact that you have a refrigerator with food in it. And you're grateful for that's better, isn't it? There you go. And you're grateful for the friends in your life. It's funny because all the people here, all the people who work at Disneyland are so nice and friendly. They're like, hi, how are you? It's so nice to meet you. And obviously they've been trained by the owners of the theme park to be super friendly and super happy and super nice. And there's never, there doesn't appear to be any kind of like conflict. Even when people are like jostling to get in line for the rides and you've got to wait. So imagine if you could be that happy all the time and smiling and greet people with a smile and be friendly and whenever there's a contentious issue you just handle it. It's no big deal. That's a happy place. Imagine if you got health the year round and you're fit and you're healthy. That's a happy life. That's the happiest place on earth. Imagine if you're making money or you're running a business, or you're happy in your job, and you're doing exactly what it is that you want to do. That's the happiest place on earth. Let me get a little view here. There we go. There's a view. So, the happiest place, and, and by the way, this doesn't mean that you're going to be happy all the time, of course. This morning, I woke up, and I was a little bit crappy about something. One little thing. And then during the day, we all have these thoughts, thousands of thoughts. We have these concerns and worries, and it's like, oh, am I good enough? Am I making enough money, am I taking care of my finances, am I healthy enough? So it's not like the happiest place on earth, it's like you're always happy, that would be a pretty boring life anyway. So the reason that we get happy is because, or we feel happier is because at times we don't feel as happy. And so we have that juxtaposition. The idea is to be happier or as happy as we can be as many times as possible throughout our life. So there you go, there's a, there's a cool little view. There's a cool little view of Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. So where is your happiest place on earth? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a couple of really happy places for me. Saturday or Sunday morning exercise and the feeling about an hour after that. I love that. Going for a run at Runyon Canyon in Los Angeles on a Sunday morning and coming back and showering and having food and then having the whole day ahead of me. That's a happy place. Having my friends around playing poker at my place. That's a happy place. Eating healthy food, being up on top of a Ferris wheel with, with the secret photographer, the secret, you can't see who that person is, but whoa, whoa. That's a happy place. There's the Paradise Pier. Whoa, or well, creating a business with my brother. Youngest brother Tristan, that's a happy place. We created these glasses together, the Swannies, the Swannies glasses. And having people text me or email me from the 30 day no alcohol challenge thanking me because they've been inspired to quit alcohol for 30 days and lose weight and feel amazing and people telling me that their lives have changed because of that. That's a happy place, being able to help people. That's cool. So you don't need to go to Disneyland to find the happiest place on earth. The happiest place on earth is wherever and whenever you are. Wherever you are, whenever you are, and whoever you most want to spend the most time with. Wherever you go, there you are. So, while I'm here in Disneyland, the happiest place on earth, it's also not the happiest place on earth because soon I will not be here. Soon I'll be going back to Los Angeles and I'll find another happy place which will become my new happiest place. So find your happiest place. Catch you on the next one.
Hi, I'm James Swanick and thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to check out another video from me, you can just click here and to subscribe, just click there.